Hey guys, Miss Saiyan Ellie here, and welcome back to another episode of Tales of Vesperia. In the last episode, we activated all these warps, so... Uh, <laughs> let's get this over with. This place is pretty much built like a maze. I really have a hard time finding my way around here. Okay, now we have that out of the way. Let's take out this big tortoise dude. Okay, there we go. And what we want to do is go into this house. Okay, there should be a couple items in here that we can get. There's a chest over there I want on the wrong side of the desk. Come on, Masse. Go the right way. We got a limit bottle and magic lens. That'll come in handy, believe me. Anyway, if we come down here, we'll come to a big spiral staircase. We don't want to go down there yet. We can't do anything about that, but we'll go ahead and save. Okay, now we have that out of the way. Let's go back upstairs. We don't want to worry about that st uh, stairway yet, like I said. And if we go back upstairs, we have a bunch more items. There's a lot of hidden items in this area. Okay, there's one chest here and another chest. And it's a cloak for Rita. I just bought her a feather dress! Or feather cloak, whatever. And the cocktail dress is better than it! Well, that was a big waste of materials and money. She barely got to use that other one, jeez. Oh well. I guess I can't really complain about her getting stronger. Alright, now that we have that done, we want to go outside and... We have yet another warp. Right. These things are all over the place. Anyway, um, before we do anything, I want to switch to Carol, actually. He got a new skill that is actually really cool, but I didn't... It was off screen, so I'm gonna go ahead and show it now. Uh, what it is is Lightning Wave. It is Fire and Wind Elemented, so it's a dual elemented skill. I think that's the first one that we've got. Okay, we want to move to the left. And now we want to go into this door. I Wait, let me move. Thank you. I want to go in here. I'll just... I'll just show the next encounter that we actually get into, because we're bound to run into one. Um, I think there's one more item. Yep, orange gel. And we have something for repeat. Wait, did he learn everything? Yep, he did. Okay, Holy Raven. He's going to be learning Dash and Recover now. That's pretty good, actually. Head up this ladder, and we have yet another warp. Jeez. Like I said, this place is built like a maze. If you don't know where to go, then you are going to get lost. No if, buts, or what's. Oh, here's a tortoise. Okay, we're going to go ahead and fight this. Come on. There we go. This looks easy. Wait, did did I set his art? Wait, no, not that. Yes, I did. Okay. Don't let him trip you up. This is actually a really cool looking skill. It kind of glows for just a little bit, and you have a big Put like little electrical thing. Yay! Who's that? But that's his new skill, and I'm glad I don't have to use him anymore. So, back to Yuri. There we go. Okay, now we have another treasure chest here. A Tsurugi. That is Yuri's weapon. We're just getting new weapons left and right. And he did not learn experience share yet. So we're not going to equip it. Okay, now we want to jump down here. He can jump high! Yuri, if you can jump that high, why can't you just jump right up there? That would be nice. Anyway, let me think. Where am I going? No, I don't think... There is something over there. Okay. Okay, now let's investigate this little building real quick. We have an apple gel here. Go inside. I think up here we have 1,000 gold. I'm rich! I'm rich! Isn't this technically looting, even though it's kind of run down and stuff? I want the chest! Let me get the chest. Okay, fine. I'll walk around. We have a purple ribbon here, which I am going to equip on Rita. Can give it to her. Her magic intense get intense. What? Her magic attack, excuse me, gets um, boosted from that. 
And we'll give her the bronze circlet that she was wearing a little while ago. And wait a second, this is important. Password clue two. We're gonna need that. And we head up these stairs, go back outside, and we wanna go back to that warp thing that we just took. Because there's another direction that we can go to that we didn't take. Here we go, up the ladder. Back onto the warp. And like I said, instead of going right, we are going forward. Let's clear this monster out of the way real quick. Okay, now that we're up here and all the monsters are cleared, except for that one over there, which I'm going to ignore, we're going to go inside this building. Okay, I think there's a couple more items in here. Maybe... Maybe... Come on. I thought there was one, but I guess not. This is like the first building that we run into that didn't have items in it. Okay. Okay, we're gonna go up here. Password clue three. Not bad. Okay, well, here's the item that I was looking for. Lamalar leather. We're gonna give that to Carol since Yuri already has one of his own. Let's see, he... His last armor was ringmail? Really? He gets 45 extra attack from that? Well, I have been neglecting Carol. Jeez. I know I don't like him that much, but that's like almost inexcusable. Anyway, going outside. I don't want to fight that thing. We're just going to come over here and jump down. One. Two and three. Okay, now from that battle, Yuri finally learned experience share. So we're gonna go ahead and equip Surugi on him. There we go, he's gonna be learning strength and swords up. Now we're gonna keep going left, and we have a scene here. So it looks like the Blood Alliance aren't here after all. Those guys are the Hunting Blades. Basically, Carol's old guild. And yep, just like Estelle pointed out, they're the people from Date Unhold. The one that was making a big ruckus. Look at that. L watch this. Gattuso. He's gonna fight that monster all by himself? One hit KO! Yes! He killed Gattuso in one strike. It's unfair! He took it out in one hit? That was a fatal strike. Fatal Strike. It's a crazy powerful technique that extremely skilled swordsmen can use. Hmm, so how do you do it? How do you do it? How should I know? Haha. <laughs> Basically admittance that he's not as good as he claims to be. And here's Wikipedia again. Thank you very much. Okay. Something else you wrote in a book? Sounds like it's easier said than done. You really want to get back into the guild, don't you? Well, what makes you say that? He's too prideful to go back. Not that they'd accept him anyway. Sounds like he really stepped on the wrong toes. No, no, I had been planning on leaving for a while. That's not what you said before. Okay, yeah, 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 sappiness. Anyway, what do you think they're doing in such a large... Cont contingent. I can't pronounce that word. Yeah, if they want to take out that monster we saw, one person would have been enough. Yeah, that one dude would have been more than enough, apparently. I can't believe he took out Gattuso in one strike. I struggled against that thing. Yeah, a lot of members are the loners. They tend not to travel in groups. And the chief being here is out of the ordinary, too. Curiouser and curiouser want to follow them and see what they're up to? Nah, that sounds interesting, but I'm gonna keep going. Not our business, anyway. Yeah, I don't want to worry about two guilds. One is more than enough. No kidding. Anyway, we're gonna keep going left here. Okay, continue going left. And we have a little chest here. Except not really. Just go away. It's a trap! Okay, so we have a new monster here. We're gonna go ahead and magic lens it. This is a seed. Weak to fire, resistant to wind, level 30, and 9,625 HP. 
By far the most HP out of any monster we've encountered. Aside from boss monsters, that is. We're just gonna keep beating on it. Why did I use Azuridge? Azuridge is like the wind helmet, dude. That's not too smart of me. Come on. Destruction field. Open up. There we go. Okay, level up, level up. And for our trouble, we get 3,000 gold. What? It was right on top of me! That was unfair. Anyway, I don't think we have anything here. Nope. So we're gonna go upstairs. And into this building. Let's see what else we can find in here. Life bottle. Paralysis bottle. I think that's about it. Yep. Alright, heading outside. Let's see if we can sneak around this thing. Dang it! Okay, satisfied with that, let's go down here. And now we want to go back until we find the warp. And we have a mandatory battle here before we actually warp. Here we go. I think I'll try to do that thing. Yeah, that's specific. What was that just now? That fatal strike thing. Is it something that can be done so easily? Hey, I won't know if I can. Un I won't know if I can until I try. S read slower, Masse. First, you attack the enemy to throw it off balance. Alrighty. There we go. And you see that symbol? That's our cue. I see it. What do you see? I see my opening to attack. Okay, now we want to press the right trigger to trigger a fatal strike. Just like that. Yeah, it looks really cool. Well, you do need a little skill, but it's really not that hard. You think you could do it while watching me? Alright, let's go. The amount of experience, opium, as well as item drop rates increase when you defeat an enemy with fatal strike. So that is really interesting. We just got a new technique to use in battle. Um, there's a bunch of things that they don't tell you about right off the bat, so I'm fun. gonna go ahead and Amazing. go into the m hang on, there we go. Ba I'm going to go into the battle book just to point some things out. Battle book, all the way down to Fatal Strike. Yeah, look at that. It's a whole big line of stuff to read. Anyway, da -da 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 there's three types, yeah, yeah, whatever. What I want to show is Different fatal strikes have different effects on different enemies, and the different arts that you use have a different uh, different type. There's three that you can use. There's a red fatal strike, blue fatal strike, green fatal strike, like the one I just did in the mandatory battle was a green fatal strike. Um, and those different fatal strikes have different effects on different enemies, basically. Yeah, I know, it's a lot to take in at once, but... Basically, green fatal strikes are good against beast type, magic types, bird and insect, birds, birds and insects are best used with red fatal strikes, and blue fatal strikes are easily triggered against the last two that I was too lazy to read. Anyway, going if you go into your arts and you check each art, you'll now see the little arrow next to the um next to the element type that wasn't there before. That signifies which um, fatal strike it'll be it'll be useful for. So basically, Crushing Eagle will have a chance of um, using the green fatal strike. Bank Strike has a higher chance of the blue fatal strike and Destruction Field Red. Yada yada. Every single skill in the game has a different setting. See, look at that. Every single one. So all the characters have potential to use fatal strikes. Speaking of which, there are actually titles based on Fatal Strike. If you want to get titles for each character, you want to use Fatal Strike on each one 100 times. On the 100th time that you, you use a Fatal Strike, you will get a title. And I feel like I'm repeating myself right now. So, moving on. Okay, let me just make it clear right now. I am not good with Fatal Strike. In Magic Mist, that's basically, you can run from battle faster. So if you're in a tight spot, use that. Anyway, bottom line, 
I am not good with Fatal Strike. Kill this thing real quick. But yeah, don't expect me to get those uh, that timing down pad right away because I am not good with timing Fatal Strike. I I just am not. I'm sorry. I wish I were better, but I I just can't do it. Anyway, now we have that. Kill this thing. Okay, now that we killed that, we want to jump down here. Jump. Jump. And recognize this area? Yeah. Anyway, as I was saying, does this look familiar? Yep, we're back at the beginning. And we need to get our butts over to that warp. The place that we need to go, you remember that spiral staircase that we were at before? I am going to kill this really quick before anything else. We need to go back to that spiral staircase. But we're going to worry about that in the next episode. So I will see you guys later. Masinella out.